Artists can have so many layers to their work, drawing or painting or sculpting, carving. I met an artist at the Baltimore Museum of Art whose skills go beyond her drawing board. She's a professor at MICA, a mom who homeschools two young boys, a wife, and a proud African-American woman who's found a way to bring them all together in a very unique piece of work. Um, I call it a portrait of a day, so it basically shows uh, a day in my life as a mother and practicing artist from the start of the day all the way to the end of the day. Latoya Hobbs's <laughs> day fills a room at the Baltimore Museum of Art, and it is larger than life. It was really um, a challenge for me to think about showing people in full environments. Wooden panels, about nine feet by 12, painted black, featuring scenes of her family life etched with a white pencil and then carved with more details than you could ever imagine. While the panels are huge, it's the tiny details that bring her images to life. I mean, you have to look like really, really closely to see the carving, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It, it looks like a picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like what you're doing now, I like when people are able to do that, to kind of come up close and really take time to investigate. And Hobbs worked on the project for more than a year with the support of her husband and two young boys. The dinnertime scene was her biggest challenge because of the surfaces and symmetry. There's a lot of like complex surfaces mm -hmm. in terms of, I'm particularly thinking about this granite countertop and it's also like the only um, section where I'm standing um, in the center of the composition. Um, I particularly placed this work here by Valerie Maynard there because it kind of matches the silhouette mm -hmm. of my body. Um, Facial expression too, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Legacy is important to her. From her children, ages five to seven, to those who've inspired her over the years. So a lot of the, in the scenes you'll see artwork on the walls, so I'm specifically referencing other artists who have um, had an impact on my practice in some way, so. And she wanted to share those layers. She's also a printmaker and a painter. This is the final stage of the day. So after, you know, in the morning, we've done homeschool and dinner and put the boys to bed. Now I'm finally able to kind of shift out of the role of being a mother, but into, and into my role of being an artist. Since she became a professional artist in 2013, Hobbs has taken great pride in showing and sharing her experience as an African-American woman. Yeah, so we hear this phrase like representation matters, um, which is so true. And a lot of times when you come into museums, spaces, unfortunately, sometimes you don't see representations of yourself. At least that was kind of my experience um, growing up. And so that's one of the aims that I want my work to do is that for people to be able to see themselves in the work. And at the same time, her work is relatable to all. We see the theme of, of motherhood, um, you know, that's a universal theme that anybody can kind of latch on to, this idea of family, anybody can latch on to. So those core um, ideas are the same, but they kind of maybe take on different aesthetics. That work is amazing. Her uh, exhibit, Carving Out Time, is part of a special exhibit at the Baltimore Museum of Art. It is called All Due Respect, and Hobbs is among four female artists who are highlighted. The curator loved the uniqueness, though, of Hobbs's work. She is so effective at getting texture and feeling and, you know, emotion out of just simply carving wood. It's, it's really astounding. Um, and we've been so delighted here at the museum to see the effect that this piece has had on our audiences. The exhibit will be on display at the NBA through April 3rd. Museum is open and accepting visitors, but you just have to schedule an appointment.